Okay, so this next video has to do with sources of resistance and how the source of resistance impacts your ability to determine whether a concentric or eccentric contraction is occurring. The last video that you watched where we went down the, the flow sheet or the flow chart, um, that pertains only to situations in which the person is, the source of resistance is gravity or a dumbbell. Um, so this first slide here outlines gravity as a source of resistance. So as you can see, the red arrow that is pointing down, right, gravity pulls us toward the floor. So gravity is always pulling us in a downward motion. So when we move, when our bodies move in the same direction as the red arrow toward the floor, then an eccentric contraction is occurring. When our body parts move away from the floor or in a direction opposite of that source of resistance, gravity, then a concentric contraction is occurring. So if we go back to our dumbbell curl, right? If I'm, my body part is moving, so gravity's always pulling me down, right? If I'm going away in the opposite direction of gravity, it's concentric. If I'm going in the same direction of gravity and it's slow and controlled, then it's eccentric. Gravity's pulling me down. So if I stand up out of a chair, it's concentric contractions of my um, lower extremities. When I come back down and sit in the chair, I'm going in the same direction as gravity. It's an eccentric contraction. I'm going to switch over to a new source of resistance. Okay, the next source of resistance is a TheraBand. The TheraBand is a stretchy resistance band that is, um, cre has been created to increase strength. So as you can see in this picture on your screen, this person in the left hand is holding a resistance band that is secured to a doorknob. And the person is externally rotating the shoulder when they move the band away from the doorknob. And then their shoulder is internally rotating as the band goes closer toward the doorknob. So the vertical black line is the door. And the red arrow is the source of resistance. So that band wants, just like gravity wants to pull us down and that red arrow is pointing down, the band wants to pull this, por this person toward his or her right side. So the band is actually pulling toward the door. So now the source of resistance is horizontal instead of vertical, so it changes things. But the relationship between the pull of resistance and concentric and eccentric contractions remain the same. So if we are moving in a direction opposite that of the source of resistance, we're completing a concentric contraction. If we're moving in the same direction as that source of resistance, it is an eccentric contraction. I don't have a doorknob behind me. But if this is the doorknob, and this is my, my arm that's moving, and this band always wants to pull my arm toward its source, towards this doorknob over here. When I go in a direction opposite of the doorknob, it's concentric. When I slowly bring it toward the doorknob, that's an eccentric contraction. If I were to come out here in the middle, which is neutral rotation and hold it here, then I'm doing an isometric contraction because the length of my muscle is not changing as I hold it here. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to our last source of resistance. This final, um, this final one is the use of a cable column. And so the picture is on the top left. With both hands, this person is holding a bar that is connected to a cable column. And a cable column is a pulley system with weights on it. So as this person pushes the bar that is in his hands down toward the floor, the stack of weights moves up toward the ceiling. This person is extending the elbows to move the weight away from the floor. <clears throat> and flexing the elbows when moving the weight back towards the floor. So now in the middle, on the bottom row, in the middle is a picture of a cable column. And if you were to hold those, you know, the bar or the two handles, it would be pulling you upwards. So now the source of resistance for a cable column is opposite of that of, of gravity. So now you're being pulled upwards. 
So again, the relationship between concentric and eccentric contractions and that direction of pull for the resistance, that remains the same. So if I, if this uh, gentleman here is holding onto the bar, if he extends his elbows down, he's moving away from the source of resistance that's concentric. He's doing concentric triceps. As he slowly brings it back up and controls it, he's doing eccentric triceps. There is one other source of resistance that I will talk to you guys about in the fall semester, and that is momentum. That's a bit more complicated, and we'll talk about that as we start to talk about gait or walking. Um, but for now, watch through this video multiple times if you need to, to understand concentric contractions, eccentric contractions, and how they're related to the source of resistance.